Hi, welcome back to my channel, Display of Color. I'm Scarlett, and my lovely wife will be assisting me, Mrs. Perry. Okay, we're going to get on to see. Hey, guys. Hey. How is the DOC family today? Is that showing up? Did you hit it? I got it. Where are we going with that? See who's with us. <laughs> Mine won't come up. Look at <gasps> JJ. JJ. I can't get mine on, babe. Hi, JJ. I'm waiting for your standoffs to show up, and as soon as they do, bam, shipping them out the door. Ugh, I forgot to switch count. Here, well, let me see because my own. I've already like, got your envelope ready to go, labeled and everything. Oh, you turned my volume up when you put it on. Oh, I must have hit it. <laughs> yeah. JJ saying, yay. Yay. So that's us three. So each of us and JJ is the only ones that's showing right now. That's on. Okay, well, I'm getting tired of some gloves on. <laughs> what up, JJ? Okay, so today we are trying. Dora <laughs> said she was on her way. Oh, cool. We are going to do these glass ornaments that the lovely Miss Judy gave me to try out and sponsor. Um, they're heart ornaments, glass heart ornaments. And they're, they've been. What do you call it? Kiln, what did you say? Kiln fired twice. Yeah, I'm twice, saying. so they're more durable. Um, and then I just put some resist, or not resist, I never called it that. Masking fluid. She's using some glass terms. No, what's her name? She calls it that. Uh, Miss Clara. I call it resist. No, this is called masking fluid. Even though it's a little package. <laughs> if you can move your face, that'd be awesome. It won't. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. There, there. There it is. That's a focus. Okay. <laughs> Doris. Hello, DLC. Hi, guys. So, I just did some little squiggly squids on there, as you can see. And this just peels off. And what it does is it, when it dries, it dries clear, but it goes on kind of like a creamy white. And when it, kind of like my glove color. And when it dries, it goes clear, and then literally you do whatever kind of fluid you want, or paint, uh, alcohol ink, um, watercolor, you know, whatever you want to do over it. And it keeps those areas protected from any kind of liquid going where that is. And once that's dry, then you just rub it with your finger and, and it comes off. Or, depending on what texture you're putting it on. Hey Sharon from Urban Artisan. You can also use, it's like a rubber square. It's almost like the same kind of rubber in the sole of a shoe. In fact, I think it is, quite frankly. Libby's Chicken Ranch is here. And then you can use that to peel it off if you want. Hi Libby! So, but you know, with something like this, I think honestly my finger will work just fine. Okay, so we're going to try a few things. I have four of these hearts, and so I'm going to try doing embossing on it. I'm going to try to do resin on one, and I'm going to have Miss Lovely Miss Carrie start um, mixing the resin. Are we using, and we're using the art resin because my order isn't going to be here with stone coat or coat until Monday. So... Um, someone asked me on our last, the last time we were on the live, just a little, you don't know what, um, <laughs> asked me on the live that, uh, if it was delayed, blah, 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 and I was like, I have no clue yet, so it is a lot longer than normally, it would take like one to a couple days to come, um, but they are, I have been informed, they are having to repackage and send through a different carrier now, so they're having to send it through FedEx, as well um, as repackage it because it's going through FedEx. They're not allowed to send through the USPS anymore. So because of that, that you know could be for anyone who's ordering right now, be the glitch. It may not be normal. I think they're just having to change everything, so it's just slowing that process down, and then it'll probably 
be fine again. JJ um, got his tile sampler today, speaking of embossing. <gasps> you did from the lovely doors. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. <gasps> That's so cool, JJ. I'm so happy for you. Yay! For his Doristy, his own personal Doristy. <laughs> I like to call him. Dude, I'm excited, JJ. We could do it together. I we can emboss some stuff together. Sharon made her first attempt at resin art today. <gasps> Yay, Sharon, I'm so All happy right. for you. If you post it, tag me in it so I can see on any social media forum, on my Instas or whatever you post it on, tag me so I can see it. I'm so happy for you. Okay, so for the alcohol inks, we're going to use um, Doris, a lovely Doris sponsor. Uh, our sponsors today are um, Doris from DF Designs. Doris at DF Designs and um, the lovely Miss Judy as well as uh, Leslie from uh, Color Art and the website to the Color Art is in my description box linked below. You just gotta scroll to the link for all the different things we're gonna do. So they also comes with blending solution, their own blending solution, which is pretty interesting. I'm excited. Oh my gosh, I'm so grateful, Miss Doris, for the Ranger lemonade. You have no idea. Now I'm scared to use it because it's like so hard to get. I love this is one of my favorite yellows. Okay. So she's gonna mix that now because I wanted to set up, I wanted to kind of coagulate and thicken. And resin art is a one-to-one -one mixing ratio. Um so we're mixed up what three ounces? It's actually four. Four to make it easier. Okay. So two ounces to hardener, two ounces to resin. And with this, you want to do the resin first and then put in the harder. Um, but I want it to thicken because I want to drip it. I'm going to try to see if I could drip it from the top down. You know what I mean? Like do a drip effect look of the colors. Then I'm only going to be using three colors. And that will be uh, Color Art Silver, uh, True Silver. So cool. Dora says, yay, great. The mermaid. <laughs> yeah, but when I see they look so bright when people use them. And this really, really cool wild jasmine is a uh, pretty, really bright pink. Okay. So these colors are ultramarine blue, medium magenta, ocean green, and ooh, Prussian blue. I love Prussian blue. It's one of my favorite watercolor colors. Okay, so just open these. And I also have, I'm going to test out some um, ink, some embossing to see how it can withstand. We'll have to be kind of, you know, just to see if you can emboss across this glass and it'd be okay with my uh, Wagner heat embossing tool. Uh, you know, we're going to have to be kind of quick. I do have the gloss as expert here as my wife has been doing second generation stained glass business. Uh, they've owned, her mother started it uh, over 40 years ago, almost going on 50. <laughs> so, and she's second generation. Just got to keep the heat moving on the glass. All right. And if they've been annealed properly, there shouldn't be a problem. There you have it. They've been annealed properly. And what is annealing? They would like to know. Annealing <laughs> is when you cool it down to a quick temperature and take all the stress out of it. So I'm going to see if these alcohol inks will show up on this too. And I am going to use this really rad... Um, I love this little kit that Miss Judy sent me. Care package of love. You text everybody, right? You text everybody? Yes, I do. Okay. Including? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Libby's Chicken Ranch says, My auntie does stained glass. Beautiful art. Ooh, that's a strong smell. Okay. This. Um, you call this? There's uh, the golden hair. These are like metallics, and then she also gave me a rainbow. Rainbow 
metallic copper, metallic gold, and metallic bronze. And this, there we go. You need to hear the shake. Shake it, baby, shake it, baby, <laughs> shake it. So this uh, metallic, these actually are really cool. I actually like the, it's a Marabou is the brand. Um, when they came to the rainbow, putting it in wet ink, this was really cool. Especially, they sink, okay? So these metallics immediately sink. So they don't float like the jacquard brass that we're used to. So it, it um, there we go. It, um, it immediately sinks, but if you blow it, then it floats up, you know? So, like, when you drop it in, it's just going to go and sink to the bottom of whatever substrate you're using. Just blow it around, and then it'll do that, like, floaty. And it looks like pixie glue. Oh, my gosh. Hey, it just shot all over the floor. <laughs> oh, no. I just wasted it all over the floor. <laughs> oh. So, note to self, be careful how you're shaking your cap. Pops shake off it, easily. Baby, shake it, baby, shake it. Um, I'm between my fingers, yeah. You got it off my foot, right? Because it's all over my foot. <laughs> Ooh. This side. Yeah, Ooh, careful, careful. Just. <sighs> all right. All cleaned up. Hey, Cindy. Huh? Hey, Cindy. <gasps> hi, Cindy, hi. Welcome, Doc Fam. Okay, so let's be mindful that um, you do have to poke it, I think, or what's, I think Miss Judy actually cut the tips or whatever, but I think it tells you to poke it, but, so hold down your cap <laughs> and shake, but yeah, it's like, to me, it was like pixie dust, like, it was so pretty to watch in alcohol, and this is like iridescent, it's like mica, this is what, this is made out of, I believe, um, the rainbow one. So I'm gonna get that, that bead. Gold. It's like a gold. It, that was gold. Doris. Mm. Metallic gold. And this one's their rainbow. I wasn't a fan of when I watched a demonstration of the alcohol inks of these. The alcohol ink of it, not the metallic. Um, I don't know. They don't look that great. <laughs> But these I loved. I used and I thought they were great. With um and ranger, I had new ranger inks and stuff, so. Alright, so let's try throwing some color. Thor says, oh no, that might be harder to get up. <laughs> yeah. Actually that wasn't that bad, huh? Looks like that we have a we, we have a beige carpet, so you know, I spilled some resin yesterday. We'll see. We're going to have to rip this carpet up at some point. So, if I had something to hang this, hold this up, that would be great. And that's something you will hear. <laughs> a child having fun. Apparently, instead of going to bed. Is there like a pencil or something you want to be able to hold it? If I do this, will, will this, you be able to hold it up? So... I need it in here though. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Uh, yes, I do. Yeah. Um, I'll be right back. No. Okay. Can I hang it from that camera? No, because the camera's focused for down here, not up here. So it needs to be low. -ish. Right, I know. But can I hang it something off of that camera? That's my point. Do I have a chain? I would do it off the light, not the camera. Because then you'll move the camera. <laughs> I was just asking you to hold it like this. This is going to be quick. If you could okay. just yeah, I can hold it. simply hold it. Over here. Just, yeah. So. I'm going to make it weird. <gasps> Hi, Karen. Hi. Hey, Karen. <laughs> okay, so that was Thanks, the fresh and blue or grays. Brayeries, and this is medium magenta. Oops, I just touched it. Look at it. I'm going to make a fingerprint. So I'm just kind of wanting it to cascade. And this is, I haven't even added alcohol. 
I'm just doing straight ink to it, so. I'm just having a roll. It's a little fun. Karen says, oh, this is cool Christmas stuff. This is. This is the whole idea. You can do Christmas uh, ornaments. You can do holiday. I mean, any holiday. You can also, if it's like somebody's, what do you call those? Pregnancy, baby shower, you know, like it's a boy, it's a girl. You could do whatever you want with them or just make them pretty just to have hung up all the time year round, you know. But yeah, you can, you can make it into whatever. So there, I was hoping it would blend, and it is when it hits the paint, so that's oh, cool. it's nice purple. Mm-hmm. So, I make these really cool Christmas trees with coffee hundred. filters. Use your knuckle. So I'm gonna get it sideways first. So a lot of ink is going off this way. That's not a bad thing. You roll it around with ink. No, because this is already pre-mixed. Mm. I want specific colors. Valentine's Day too. Oh, right with the hearts. That's yeah. A great idea. Exactly. Any kind of holiday, you can do whatever. Um, there are these uh, for sale. Um, Miss Judy is selling 64 a case. 64 of these hearts in one uh, case. Yeah, the uh, for for a hundred dollars. Yeah, so you can hit her up. Um. And, which is a great price. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, that's actually a really good price. It's only like a dollar and maybe some change per, like a buck and, I think it comes out to like a buck and some change. Less. Oh, less? Yeah. Here, can you hold this? Right here. Yeah. So I'm just looking around. I'm kind of wondering if I want to keep some of these clear spots, if I like the look of that. Oh, is that dope? Because I am going to have the clear over here. I kind of do, though. Not this much. Not there. Cindy says, must have the hearts. Okay, Cindy, then, um, uh, on my link, there's the Facebook link. A uh, friend requests me. If we aren't already, we probably already are. But if we aren't, friend requests me, and then send me a uh, a messenger, Facebook messenger, send me a little blurble and, um, and then I can give you her information, contact information. So that way you can contact her to, uh, to get it. But yeah, it's actually a really good deal. A hundred of these. She also has egg shape, which I don't have here. I just have the hearts. Um, but there's hearts and egg shape, uh, of this. So for Easter. Yeah, so Easter, like whatever, especially with the eggs, you can like, that would be cool. Um, okay, so that is good. So we're going to let this dry. Okay. To pull up. I'm going to pull up the thing. So, and then um, this you could just hang on. See those hooks? Uh-huh. Yeah. Just be careful not to touch because it needs to dry. It'll be, if you touch it, you'll yeah. fingerprint it. Got it. Okay, go. Cool. Done. So, oh, wait, let me show you guys close up. I totally forgot. Sorry, baby. Here, come back. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. This is all new to me. I'm hey, like, Jen's hmm. here. <gasps> Jen! Hi! <laughs> Yay. Okay, try this one. Okay, now the sound's on. Sorry. <laughs> That's really pretty. I make sure I have it because my hands are really sticky. So, once this dries in a little bit, when it dries a little bit better, then I will peel off those edges and those should remain clear. 
I did leave some of it clear, as you can see right there and stuff. I think that's kind of cool, though. La, la, la. Uh. Oh. Oops. There. Hold on. I just don't want it. It's pulling, you know? I don't want it to drip over there. You understand? Mm -hmm. there you go. Thank you. You got it? You got it. Got it. <laughs> okay. So, and then I want to try to do, because I want to just see what you can do with it. You could do, you know, alcohol inks. You can. Mm. Oh, that's what I was going to do. I was going to put some of this. Do it on the next one. Yeah, okay. I'm going to change out my glove. Switch it back. Don't talk, okay? Eh? Can you read what people are saying, baby? <laughs> can you read all that? Yeah. <laughs> Or can you buy hazmat suits for your kid? About 3,000 other students on a huge college campus asking for a friend. I have no idea. Amazon, maybe? Jen says, very pretty Scarlet. Oh, thank you, Miss Jen. You know who would know that, maybe, possibly? Or, no, maybe not. I don't know. That's a hazmat suit. Um, contact OSHA. Were they sell things though? They they have safety places you could go. Oh, well, there you go. Contact Oosh. Okay. Sharon, baby, baby, you are supposed to let it coagulate in here. You're supposed to mix them. Okay. And then let it coagulate. Okay. The colors. I'm sorry, you didn't tell me you were done. Yeah. Here, hold on. Yeah, because I need the colors to mix perfectly. You know. Okay. <laughs> okay hold on. Or, um, in a second, move this. Yeah. <gasps> Carrie, you're dripping. It's all right. All right. So Carrie's going to say the colors again as I put these in. These are resin arts. You could say the colors. And we're using wild jasmine, mermaid. And true silver? Yep. Hey, Judy. Hi, Judy. Glad you made it. So I'm going to, I want this resin to coagulate a little bit more um, for what I'm trying to do, a drip thing on here as well. With the resin. Ooh. These three colors, so... Judy, can you post your email? Mm, no, no, no. I don't want it. I don't want it on blast for the world. I never mind. Um, Miss Sydney's gonna contact you, Judy. Or contact me, and then I'll contact you for the hearts. And anybody else who's interested. Sorry. I apologize. Yeah. I don't know about. I mean, I don't know if you're comfortable with that. I just don't think it's a smart thing to just put your email on. On live for the world to just whomever to do whatever obnoxious thing to it you know <laughs> not everybody's that can you know anybody can watch this so okay did you want to check on your child sure you need a diaper change or something what was freaking out about sure <laughs> thank you baby Saskia's here, I think. <gasps> Saskia's here? Double check, I think. <gasps> it is! Hi! Hi, Saskia! Hi! <laughs> okay. I didn't see Faithra. Is she here? <gasps> she Hi, Ellen! Hi! Yeah, they are, huh, Miss Jen? They're like, they're a fun, perfect gift. Or just, you know, to use for yourself to decorate or whatever. 
like I said, any kind of holiday or any kind of like a birthday or um, baby shower, you know, decoration, like it's a boy, it's a girl, something fun and cute, you know, draw a little stork on there, paint it with alcohol ink, it would be fun. Faux show. Carry a <laughs> mix this really, really thoroughly because there's a ton of bubbles. <laughs> oh, I think I did forget to mention this particular one. You only have to, it's like a, a minute less, I think, than Stone Coat R Coat. So I think you only have to mix it for two to three minutes. So I do a full three. I always do the most that it says that to do because. That's just, for me, it's a better thing to do. Okay. I am a Saskia. I just got done doing a glass heart ornament. I'm going to show pull out another one show you. And um, I just put alcohol ink on that one. I had some masking fluid on the edges to make... Uh, so that way it would block off what I have alcohol ink so I could peel it off later once it dries and reveal the clear glass below. And I am mixing some resin as well. I'm doing three colors of resin to try to put some over the resin. And then I'm going to also try right now as this sets up a little bit. I want it to be, you know, kind of thicker so that way it doesn't super drip off the glass. Um, to try to hold it onto the glass where I place it. A little bit easier but um I'm also going to try to emboss on these as well so yeah. and there he is with our, our baby that you hear in the background Mm. Okay. Oh, okay, great, wonderful, Saskia. Ooh, Saskia, I love that uh, poor kiss you did. I've been really wanting to do one of those in resin, too. But, man, do they look so pretty, that one you did with your with the, your husband, Rob. Oh, so beautiful. That came out wonderful. Okay, so here is the glass. Heart, as you can see, it is awesome. And these are double fired kilns, so they're a lot stronger of a glass too. Um, they're blown. So let's try embossing. So when I have, uh, I have two ways you, for you can emboss with embossing powder. You have the Versa Marca ink marker which you can read right there as well as get it out of the ink pad it's the same thing an ink pad form or a marker where you can hand draw it you have two sides to this marker you have two different nibs and wherever you put the ink and write, you know, on your whatever substrate you're using, it will, um, let me just move these out of my way. I do not want to knock them over accidentally. The resin. <laughs> what I need is to hit this resin and spill it. Okay. It will, um, It'll stick to wherever you put it, and then <clears throat> I'm also going to clean it uh, real quick. This is a uh, high sheen. Uh, this is the only thing I use for everything in glass. It's ammonia free. It's the bomb diggity. I see our C R L Lawrence uh, is who carries it. Streak free, ammonia free. I'm just grabbing my uh, 
Paper towels. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so it's streak-free and ammonia-free. It's the bomb. And he is struggling today. Doesn't seem like he'll settle, baby. He's not settling. Yeah. I think those things are the important thing. He's playing the baby cat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want that back for me? Do what? Putting that back for me? Sure. Whatever. Thank you. I just had to clean. Just right there. Yeah, because we'll have to clean each other. All right. Okay. Oh, my chalk. <laughs> If you don't mind. So there's this really cool technique that I use with cards. And um, it's called black ice. It's a like a look. Yeah, and this cleaned up? Technically, yes. <laughs> you can use the towel if you want. It stays on. And on cards, it works really cool. I don't know if it's going to work on the heart. So... So I'm going to try and see, but it's, you, I have stays on, it's just a normal black permanent uh, ink pad. I can't have him spinning around here the whole time. Um, wait, clean this first please. And what you're going to do is take the edge of your ink pad and just drag. And normally it's a flat surface, so I'm going to see if this works. <laughs> I'm going to put my little finger up over here. I'm actually going to transition. Hold on one second. Here we go. So I'm going to try it. But you just take the edge and you would drag it down. Did you want to put some alcohol in it first and then? Go ahead and talk to me. Okay. But I'm telling you instead of wasting, you might want to activate it with alcohol first. Okay. Because that doesn't have alcohol. So you're just going to do a streaky streak look. Oh, and it is kind of, it is working. It's kind of doing the same. Yay. Hmm. It is curved, so it's a little bit different. So it just does a light um, I hope you could see that effect of the black and then for this you also need clear embossing powder Everybody, this is turning into one of those days. Kaina went and got uh, somehow through the fence and she was gone and missing, so we were hunting her down all day long. <sighs> and that stressed me out, so I'm just kind of still a little bit ruffling. And then now Maddox is not wanting to nap. <laughs> so. So what I'm going to do is take the powder pillow and try to place it on here. And I'm just doing the front right now. 
You could do all the sides and everything, but I would just take one step at a time so that way it can dry and then you can move your rotate your thing. But this just makes it so that it the piece only goes to where it's supposed to be. The embossing for the embossing powder to stick to only where it's supposed to be where you want it. And can you do me a favor, baby? Do you mind helping me grab this? Oh, cool. Thank you, Cindy. She did it. Oh, I'm so sorry, everyone. I, I haven't been reading. Yeah, I know. He isn't. Everybody talks about those terrible twos, but... Um, where did, oh, it's do? right there. Oh, my gosh. It's right in front of me. <laughs> Close that. Would be great. Watch out, I'm gonna blow this. I don't want it in your eyes. <laughs> okay, so the sticky, it's just uh, clear. So, there's all the chalk, you know, put over it. And you're gonna do the same thing, you're gonna just run it. I'll hold the cord. Uh, You're just gonna run it through. So you're gonna do your edge and then lightly drag it over so it does the same effect. And it's supposed to give it like a look like glass uh not glass, what do you call that? I right. yeah, but black eyes. Yeah. That's not what I'm trying I to suppose. say. Thank you. <laughs> Third time's a charm. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll see if this one is hard to tell. I didn't stick clear. But we're going to find out. I need a paper. It's embossing powder. I need a paper. Oh, that should be maybe underneath my light strip. <laughs> and if you could read that. Hi, Leslie. Hi. Welcome. Back, fam. There you go. Thank you, thank mm -hmm. you, thank you. So I just put a, just a plain... Oh, they can't see this now. Hold on. We're going to go here now. <laughs> okay. Sorry, everyone. So I just put a plain piece of paper down. Um, you can do it over the bin. You could do it over like this too, like that, but I'll just do it like this over the paper. It's just easier for me. Yeah, these ornaments are solid. So I did get it on, it's just not as where I'd want it. So that's easily remedied. I would just suggest redoing your process like I'm about to after you uh, heat emboss so it sticks where you want it to go. I'm just making sure by throwing it on here because it is rounded so I'm just making sure wherever the stick is that I got it. Okay. And just tap, oopsie, try not to touch where you <laughs> put embossing powder. No, I'll do this. Sure. I need to get my finger out. <laughs> okay, like. Okay. You know, Sharon, packaged right, I bet they would survive shipment to the UK. Packaged correctly? Yes. Okay.
It's my finger and I can't see, sorry. Let me. Dust off excess with a paintbrush, a dry paintbrush, where it's not supposed to be. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw it on with, ooh, I can't see that. Okay, hold on a second. I'm going to draw it on with um, the marker itself. I'm just letting it cool. It's a little warm. Did you get part? No, I didn't. <laughs> So I have like sensitive to touch heat. <laughs> so that's what happens. Thicker. That's hot. Is it? Yeah, it's really hot, Phil. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's super hot. Can you read, baby? Next DOC fire sale, September 14th, starting. I don't need that to be read. <laughs> that's, that's not all. Look at how many things I missed. You know? If you're interested in purchasing the glass hearts ornaments, please directly contact Judy at Judy at TXSan.com. Oh, they don't mind putting it on there? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Sharon, they're packed for shipping by the manufacturer, and they made, made it to me in a semi-truck, so I think... Getting to the UK would be safe. Leslie said the case is 16 four packs, each one individually bubble wrapped, then packed inside double wall. Case box, very sturdy, 64 ornaments in total. You can split a case with a friend. Yeah. Hey, Diane. Hi, Diane. Welcome, Dark Fan. So this is one box of four. So you can easily uh, individually bubble wrap emboss on this. I'm just trying to make it look more like nice and full effect. The hearts are four and three quarters by four and three quarters. Oval shapes are five and three quarters of an inch long and three and three quarters of an inch wide. Also, Judy has egg shaped ornaments as well, so they would be great for Easter time as well as creating something for Christmas presents too. Yeah, anything. You can create any shape. You can create 
any kind of holiday. You know, I have to, you know, birthday, New Year's, Christmas, Easter, Halloween. You know, they hang up in a window. You can do it, whatever. You know what I mean? Somebody mentioned earlier you could stuff those little lights so you can get a Pier 1 into them. And light them up from the inside. Ooh, yeah, yeah, you can do that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's cool. I've seen that. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. Can you help me with a little bit? I'm struggling. Or behind you? Sure. Yeah. You want it on or off? Off, so I can get this one to the whole end of it. Um, I need to put chalk on this so it will stick to the glass. But I forgot to put the chalk on before I did my or some mark ink. So, it is what it is. But I just want to test this, you know. Nope, I need to put this back in there. So this is the glass, and this is the glass. So be careful. <laughs> a pretty sturdy sound. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Like I said, I'm just doing the one side right now. I'm just going to exploit at the bottom, you know. Yeah. Two hands. This is sticky, so I'm getting that. Remember? Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And these Tupperware that I have my embossing powder in, they come in little jars, and I just put them in there. They're just like food Tupperware, storage Tupperware, so it's not like a big deal. All right. So I always start this off and let it get really nice and warm so it's less time on the glass or whatever you're doing. Maybe. There's embossing powder on here. If that heat gets on any of this stuff, it's forever stay. Okay. Can I take it off with alcohol? Yeah, whatever you can. That would be great. This is really good. Okay. Keep going. <laughs> you can see the chunky of it. It's all over the whole thing. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm about to fill an ink on it. Okay. Oh, that's cool, Sophia. Can you hold me? Hold this. It's really hot for my finger. You want me to hold it? Yeah, yeah. I'm worried that I'm gonna pull this out. <laughs> may not show up that well on the camera. That's maybe something that you need to see in person type thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, Dawn. Less is the baby corks fit in the top perfectly. Maybe what? Baby corks. A cork. Like a bottle cork. Oh, to plug it? You uh huh. Mean? So, you can fill it with sand. You can fill it yeah. with sand. Rocks. <laughs> Oils. 
Oh, yeah, do like a potpourri oil. A potpourri thing. essential oil. Thing. Yeah, that'd be cool. Yeah, you could totally do that, like potpourri oil. That would be rad. That'd be fun. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do. I didn't even think about it. You guys are awesome. Sorry, my little sensitive dainty hands. It's too hot. It's hot, baby. <laughs> you could show them. Make it bigger. There you go. So, I don't know if you'll see because it's clear. But I need you to put it behind so they can see the drippage of the... You see what they're seeing, right? Because you're not showing any of what I just said. <laughs> uh, hot, hot, hot. I don't know if you could see the... But see how it looks like ice dripping against the black. Something that might be better in person. Mm-hmm. Show it, show it like this so they can see the underneath part. Yeah. Sorry, I'm trying. Yeah, I need you to look out there because that will help you that instead hot. of. Huh? It's not that hot anymore. It's hot. Okay. It's it's hot to me. <laughs> but um. Jen says it looks like icicles. Yeah, exactly. And against the dark black, if I could, if I could have showed you that a little better. It would. It looks like, um, you know, what they call black rice. It's just a cool. Yay! Okay, so there you have that, and you could do more to it. You could draw or whatever. It's really cool. In person, it looks way better, honestly. <laughs> but I could have added more black to it to blah blah blah. All right, yay! Moving on. Let's do another. <laughs> okay. Put this tongue up here. Perfect to hang in your house. Yeah. I think it's been dry enough. So this one I just did for those coming in a little bit later with the alcohol inks. As well as um, I put resist here. So I will get something to fill that off because my fingers. Yeah, she painted it with the fine line masking fluid. No, yes, masking fluid. Thank you. I don't know why I keep saying what, because I hear Miss Clara in my head. I've <laughs> never used that term for this. Yeah, the masking fluid. So I'm just peeling it off now that's dried enough. Just getting the eraser to grab and pull, basically. And then it'll, what it will stay is the clear from... We do have that spray paint, that reflective mirror paint. Yeah, try doing a backing on that. I don't know if I can get inside that hole. Why not? Just spray it and move it around. Yeah, you do a little, see what it does. Carrie's gonna try to try to use that spray. It's like a mirror, a mirrored spray paint. Is that what you call it, baby? Yeah. She's gonna go see if she can open the inside of this hole and get it to um, have that mirror look in the inside. That'd be cool. Okay. So this just comes off, rub it off. That's really hard for me to see right now. And you can do anything with those, uh, these things, you know, the masking fluid. I have it in a bottle where you can paint brush it on. I have it in this and I have where you can like more details squeeze. And I have it in a pen where you can literally draw it on. So... Um, I use these in watercolor. I was doing cards and stuff. Um, I don't know, Miss Jen, if it's restoring mirror effect. I I don't know, but it's something like that. To that effect. It's like you it like 
You have to do it on something like this where you can where you, you can spray it on the inside so you can because the mirror effect comes on the out is what you see on the outside. So you have to do it from behind something that's see through like glass. And I'm gonna see in a second when I just take this off. Um, check my, um, what do you call it? Uh, resin to see how thick the resin is. Cause I don't want it to set up, set up, but I want it to be, you know, thick enough that I can, it's not gonna like fall all off a hundred percent. And then you just pop that off like that. You just rub it off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leslie, I don't know. I, didn't, I don't think so. I don't think I see, saw Miss Petra. She usually is, but I don't know. Maybe she's busy arting, you know what I mean? Because I do have, like, heat strokes out there or heat waves, and then when it's cooler, she likes to art. So maybe it's a cool day, and she's, like, super into her arting. She is doing my owl, after all. <laughs> I like to say it. Mine, mine, mine. Um... Oh no, your daughter's sick, Miss Jen? I know you were post something about being sick. How you did that? All right, faux show. Faux show, Miss Dom, faux show. Now, I'm not an artist by any right in the sense of drawing, you know what I mean? So I just did some little squigglies just to demonstrate what you can do. Um, but, you know, the more artistic you can be, the more awesome these can be. <laughs> but I'm just not very good with that kind of thing. Okay. You call her to work on now. All right, Miss Leslie. So um, I just put uh, the masking fluid on, which I didn't show anybody. I just did it ahead of time so it would dry in time for me to. And it doesn't take long, honestly, dry, but it comes like kind of like the color of my glove, like a creamy white gray. And then you just put it on wherever you want and whatever design. And then once it dries, it dries clear. So that's when you know it's dried. And then once that happens, then you just put alcohol straight to it. I didn't even use, um, I didn't even use alcohol, 99% isopropyl alcohol. I just use, uh, Miss Doris was kind enough to send us these to try. Thank you, Miss Doris. So I just used a Brea Reese straight to it. Um, this, uh, what is this? Medium Magenta and the Prussian Blue. And it mixed the two, which made a, uh, I don't know if you could tell, but there's a purple tone to it as well. But see now where I move the resist. <sighs> Sorry, there's stuff all over my hands. <sighs> I shouldn't have touched that. <laughs> but where I, uh, still getting the ink. Moved, I don't know if you can tell, this is kind of hard to show through. Uh, there, you can kind of tell by that. Um, wherever I put the resist, it left the line open. So it's just clear glass. Mm 
So I just did kind of like squigglies on around the edges of the heart. And then, so it's got the pink and the blue and then it, some of that bled into make a really pretty purple. So I don't, I don't know. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. I can put it under the light better for you. that help? Yeah, you can see the color a little bit better there. And then that's where you could see through the lines of where I had to go clear. I hope that helped a little bit better. I think my son just hurt himself in the crib. <laughs> Okay. All right, he didn't think he had his foot kicking. All right, so let's see what this does. Yeah, this is getting nice and warm, so we should do that one now then. Cool. And these are from Leslie's art or pigment line, which is color art. The three colors we're using of the resin, which is the true silver, the mermaid, and the wild jasmine. <laughs> so I'm excited. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh yeah, it's too light. You need to do a lot more. Yeah. So it's hard to get in the hole. Yeah. It just turned all liquid. It's a light, it's a light dusting. It's actually kind of neat. But you would just need to do that again. You know what I mean? Right, but it turned the liquid so it kept it kept washing it off. See what I mean? No, because I've never done this. <laughs> but okay. All right. We'll try it a different way the next time. Okay. Uh, let's transition and you get your child, but hold on, it'll echo. Okay. Yeah, you're, I, he was, I believe, kicking the thing. You see? Okay. And he's holding his foot because he hurt his little foot. Okay. Thank you, baby. Okay. So, let me move my glass, actually, because I don't want the resin on my glass. <laughs> Don't trip! <laughs> yeah, you can you totally can. Um, but it'll also it'll spray if you do that, it'll spray I'm gonna do it after Miss Jen because it'll spray over all of it. It'll seal the whole thing, so you'll still peel. You know what I mean? It'll still might tear because it's connected, I assume. That's why I just didn't do it. But it didn't chip off. It didn't take away. It didn't remove the ink itself when I did that. Even with the rubber, it didn't It didn't peel away the ink on the glass itself. So, but you can. Um, but then you would also be affecting what you just sprayed. So you could spray it again, I guess. Because it might peel off. It'll break the seal of that part. You know what I mean? So I'm just going to try to paint this on here first. And I'm using the one that she tried to do the mirror stuff in, so it's going to have this weird little hue, and you'll see that. And if you have something to ink with, that might be better. You know, I might actually... Move this here. One second, everybody. I'm trying to figure this out for 
you try to put you back on this one so that way hopefully you can see it a little bit better Oh, I see the liquid. It's even in interesting. It's liquefying again because of the resin itself being hot. How funny. That's interesting. So, yeah. I wonder if there's a different kind of mirrored something or other. How crazy is that? You see the silver in there? Liquidy. <laughs> so I technically could have let this cure uh, even longer, but let's just see what it does. I just wanted the drip effect. You can literally paint the whole thing. You know? Rad. That's what I was saying. You might need to just give up on the nap right now and take them out to swim. You know? Might be the best. That looks really cool. Yeah. But I'm thinking I might have needed to let it coagulate just a hair more to, um, Keep it from sloughing off completely. What are they saying, baby? Because I'm not reading so, a thing. Leslie Carey tried this spray mirror paint. The spray paint will keep washing itself off. Yeah, Diane, that's what See I how was it's looking. That's what I was trying to explain. Yeah. Uh, uh, playing with beautiful glass hearts. Said Leslie. Jen says, "Do you guys have quick coat? I bet that would be make amazing." Oh tips. yeah, no, we don't. I don't have any coat right now. I have. I'm out. I'm waiting for our owner of. I've never used quick coat though because you know me. I everything takes longer. But yeah, that would probably be even better to use something that would coat quicker, like quick coat. But I don't. I don't even own. Um, our order just not for resin won't come in until. Monday. Um, yeah. So, um, is that heat gun plugged in? Yes. Alright. Because we'll still need to pop the 
bubbles. I need red. I need wet. And this is not. Yeah. There. Thank you. <laughs> um. So I can wait for this to set up more my resin in the in the cups here. You know what I mean? And then do this again. But yeah, this would be like way better if you had something that would that would cure faster. But I'm working with what I have. The only resin I have right now is the art resin, so because I've had that forever and I've been out of my it's gonna take a little bit longer this time for stone coat to get to us. So well, you just keep holding it, letting it do that. I think we did all the things, yeah? Yeah. Judy says, yeah. Uh, I've been putting crystals on a heart. It's going to be beautiful if I finish it. Yeah. See, Miss Judy, I was hoping when I ordered those crystals, I was hoping they would come in time today for me to try to put some on here too. Because I was going to glue some um, blingity bling on it, like a little like fun blingity. Um, bling a ding ding dong. But yeah, <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's okay, because when this dries, I could try to do it to this. Look that drip. Drip. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> drip in the pink. <laughs> All right, everybody. Kate says hi. <gasps> Kate's here. Hi, Kate. I'm glad you're doing. Oops, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're doing well and everything's safe and sound. Well, hello, Joplin. Glad you made it. Can you help me with the lid? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, everyone. Well, thanks for hanging out and playing with me to just see a, how things experiments. Just a few things you can do with these hearts. Mm -hmm. Super fun. But yeah, really, really pretty. And I, I guess I should have waited even longer for the um, what do you call this? Resin. Yeah, for the art resin because it was getting warm. So I thought, ooh, for sure, but. But yeah, I can even wait even longer when it really gets like gelatinous and and then puts add some more to it. So that'll be fun. But um, please hit the thumbs up and like and subscribe as well as follow me on Instagram and Facebooks are all in the description box below. The links, um, all the links to the arts that I use supplies and stuff are just in the description box below. You just gotta scroll down to um, the links that I use for your convenience and um. Oh, uh -huh. and if you want to help support the channel, we have the PayPal donations link as well as the Amazon wish list. And yeah, we'll be doing another sale on September 14th. So uh, another fire sale. So that'd be great. All right, everyone. Happy arting and God bless.